Right, let's get to last night's controversy in Paris. The VAR official who reviewed the late penalty in Newcastle's game against Paris Saint-Germain has been replaced by UEFA for another game tonight. Uh, Thomas Kwiatkowski asked the referee to go to the screen to review a potential handball by Tino Livramento where the ball hit his chest first and then his arm. The referee, Simon Marciniak, who refereed the World Cup final last year, didn't give the penalty on field but then reversed the decision after looking at the incident on the screen. Kwiatkowski was due to be the VAR for tonight's Champions League game between Real Sociedad and Salzburg, but he's now been replaced. Now, these are the factors that the referee has to take into consideration when deciding on handball, according to UEFA. Remember that different uh, governing bodies or, or, you know, who are running the game in different places choose different ways of interpreting VAR. But for UEFA, the officials need to determine whether the player has deliberately handled the ball. The official needs to consider the proximity of the player from the ball and the speed it hits them on the arm or hand. And the final consideration is whether the arm or the hand is in an unnatural position, for example, away from the body. And in this case, it seems that the officials have penalised Livermento on this final point. However, in April, uh, the UEFA Football Board, which is uh, an independent advisory group made up of ex-players, including being the Boscow Southgate, recommended an amendment to those rules which would have applied to last night's handball, and this is what it said. UEFA should clarify that no handball offence should be called on a player if the ball is previously deflected from his own body. So it appears that this recommendation wasn't implemented by UEFA, given the decision last night. We have asked them to confirm that today, and we are awaiting a response. I think the fact that the VAR has been stood down this morning speaks volumes, Joe, to be honest. Um, it's, it's just not a penalty, is it? I, if, if it was given in the Premier League... The, the media would be on it for the next month. It's, it was incredible. And what I would say, Joe, is why it was incredible was because this guy is a top referee. There's no doubt about that. He refereed the European A, he refereed the Champions League final. If you watch the game, he was faultless for 96, 97 minutes. And then he's been alerted to something by somebody else. When you're sent to the screen, the VAR has decided that you've made a clear and obvious error. That's the key issue. That must play on your mind. You know, I've never been in that position, fortunately. But that must play on your mind and think, oh, have I missed something? But you've also got to be mindful of the fact that when you go to the screen as a referee, you've got to make the decision yourself. 